graphing horizontal and vertical lines. Our goal is to graph lines in the form of y equals c and x equals a, where c and a are some constants. It's pretty straightforward, so let's jump into it. We want to graph y equals negative 2. Well, this graph would consist of all the ordered pairs whose y coordinate is negative 2. Let's just say, for example, we weren't sure uh, how to graph this and wanted to kind of do some verification of our own. We always go back to the standard t table. Now, if you take a look at this equation, y is equal to negative 2. There's no questions about that y has to be negative 2. However, there are no conditions based upon the variable x, so therefore x could be anything. I'll just go ahead and make it 0, 1, 2. If I was to plot these three points, you can quickly see that it is going to be a horizontal line. And in fact, that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. Horizontal line through y equals negative 2. Now, is this a function? Remember, the function test is, does this pass the vertical line test? And it is not possible to draw a vertical line that crosses this graph in more than one point. So yes, it is a function. And in fact, every horizontal line will be a function. The other case, what if we have an, a line in the form of x equals 3? Well, this graph consists of all the ordered pairs whose x-coordinate is 3. Again, if I really wanted to make a t-table for this, I could. Um, the condition for this t-table is that x has to be equal to 3. Again, there are no conditions for the y-coordinate given in the equation. y can be any value. I'll make it straightforward and easy to graph. Graph these three points, and we should have our line. 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2. Our vertical line. Looks just like that. And the question is, is this a function? And in fact, it's not a function because there's only one vertical line that would intersect this graph, and that would be itself, and it would obviously be crossing the line in more than one point, so it's not a function. Uh, no vertical line will be a function. That's pretty much it for horizontal and vertical lines. Let's see how we graph these on the graphing calculator. To graph horizontal lines, it's very straightforward. You press y equals, the very top left. Type in your function. For example, we graphed y equals 2. Hit graph. And you, make, you have a nice horizontal line. However, when you're in the menu y equals, notice there's no room for x equals. So there's a special function just to graph vertical lines. If you go back to the home screen, second quit, and you hit the draw menu, which is second program, option four will graph a vertical line. Hit option four, and we, we graphed, I believe it was x equals three. So if I type in just the number three and then hit enter, it will graph a vertical line. One word of caution, in order to clear this graph from the screen, you do have to go back in to second program and hit option one to clear the graph. Otherwise, it'll keep graphing that vertical line. Of course, to clear the horizontal line, you have to just clear out uh, the equation that we've entered, and it will also be gone.